Hi everyone, Miss Lizzie here. We're just going to wait a little bit longer just so some people start to join. We're just going to wait a little bit, maybe like another minute or so, so people can join. We have some really fun stuff for today. I'm really excited. This is a fun story time. And we're going to read some Goldilocks and the Three Bears books today. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to do some announcements and stuff first as well, so hang tight, um, and then we'll get started. Okay, we're going to jump on in now. So, um, first things first, we'll talk about some programming. So, we still have stuff going on. Um, we have at least, we have um, a couple weeks of summer reading left. Only two more weeks after today, um, or two weeks in a little bit. The programs end the 12th. Um, but last day of summer reading is the 16th, so you still have until then to hand in all of your summer reading stuff, so feel free to do that. Um, speaking of that, if you're doing it by hand and not on Beanstack, which is completely fine, these are the things that you'll probably have. You have a log sheet and a badges packet. Um, so what we're going to do, hold on one second, I think I'm having technical difficulties, let's see, if we can fix it. Because would like this to work. <laughs> I think I'm moving really slow. Let me see. Okay. Yes, no, let's see. Okay. Just, just going to have to work with it, I think. <laughs> because I don't know why this is happening. I hope we can work with this, though. Please <laughs> hang in there with me. Okay. All right. We're just going to move on. So... Since um, summer reading is almost ending, we still have a calendar for August, like I was saying. We still have programs going up until the 12th. Um, they're all virtual. So you can come in and grab a calendar if you'd like. We have some really fun stuff. We have another thing today. We're doing a bingo on Zoom, so make sure you register for that. Um, you can register on our events page, on our calendar, on our website, and that way you'll have the Zoom login. You can also, if you want to visit the library today, you can come and, we already have bingo sheets printed out, you can come and grab one, it has all the Zoom info on it, or we can send you a bingo sheet, you can print it yourself if you just want to register at home, but that's a lot of fun, so join that, that's at 2.30 today, um, that's our last program today in July with this one. So we don't have any programs tomorrow on the 30th and then we close this weekend so stay tuned for August. So we have some really exciting fun things next week. 
we have some pre-recorded programs that will be scheduled and go up, but we also have another live story time. We have a Pete the Cat story time on Wednesday, which is a lot of fun. We're going to read some Pete the Cat books. We're going to do Pete the Cat craft, which also has a craft kit. So if you'd like a craft kit before the story time, make sure you register online on our events page, or also feel free to just come on in if you're here at the library or want to come visit. We will absolutely give one to you. We have plenty left. So feel free to come and grab one if you want to follow along with that craft. Um, and if you can't make the live, it will also be saved and uploaded later in that day to the YouTube channel if you wanted to watch it at a later date. It'll be on YouTube, but it'll also be saved on this page, so you can also see it here. Um, we also have our virtual story time every Monday with Miss Megan, so she does a different animal theme in the week, so always uh, stay tuned for that. That'll be on this page as well. We also have a really exciting program. Tailwise is doing a virtual animated show. They're a science through storytelling company. They do amazing work and they're doing a Unicorns Break the Cage this time. So it's going to be an animated short about 45 minutes and they're going to talk about science and it'll be a story and it's very interactive and very, very cool. Again, this is a Zoom program so you have to register in order to get the Zoom link. If you're, you have any questions about anything, and you can come in, and we can always help you with that. We can register for you. Um, you can give us a call. But just go on our website, on our calendar, if you want to register yourself, because you do not want to miss this. It'll be a lot of fun. And then, also that week on the 5th, we have our um, stuffed animal sleepover, which is so fun. And you're going to want to bring your favorite stuffed animal bring them into the library that day, you come on in, you write a little name tag on them, you read them a story, tuck them in, and then they're going to have a big sleepover here at the library with everyone else's stuffed animals as well as some of our own. And they're going to get into all kinds of fun stuff, I can imagine. And so you're going to want to sign up. The reason why it is a registered program is because that way we can keep track of who signed up because we are going to film. There will be a camera in here so we can see what the stuffed animals get up to. So if you want to see any of that footage or have any pictures sent to you, we'll need your information which is why you need to register. But again, if you just want to come in and you have any questions about it, we can register for you or you can just bring in your stuffed animal on the day and we can register right then and there. Super easy, not a big deal, but really fun. And then the next morning you'll be able to come in Friday morning, you can pick it up and we'll be able to email you um, the photos. So that's a lot of fun. You don't want to miss that. So a lot of exciting things next week. And then of course, our regular things, virtual story times week after, scheduled programs. Um, we also have our movie night grab bags, which you can register for. So you can, on our event page, it'll say some questions if you want the movie to be a surprise, if you have any specific movies in mind you'd like. And we have a popcorn bundle that you can get. We get a bag of microwave popcorn if you register online. So you can come and we'll have a movie ready for you to pick up. You can come and pick up your movie on that day, which is the 11th. That's a Wednesday. From You have from 1 to 6 p.m., so it's a pretty good window. If you can't make it for some reason, if that time doesn't work for you, feel free to contact us. We'll make it work for you. We can hold it for you for a later date or if you need to come in earlier or a little later, completely fine. Um, but this is really fun because you can just say, surprise me with a movie, and then you come and pick it up, and we'll have a children's movie and bag of popcorn for you to have a nice family movie night that weekend. So you don't want to miss that. And then, of course, on our final, the 12th, our final program day, we have our animal fairy tale dress-up story time. So Miss Megan's going to do a story time on Zoom. That way we can see everyone, and you can dress up in your favorite animal outfit or fairy tale outfit, whatever you want, tales and tales themed. Um, you could even just have a pet in the story time if you want to, or just bring yourself. We'd love to see you, and that will be our kickoff program. But like I said, you do have until the 16th, that Monday, to hand in your summer reading stuff. Now, if you did it on paper like this, and you have one of these packets, oops, let's go down, and you've checked it off, you can come in and hand it in to us. If you don't have one of these and you just have one of these, that's okay too. You can just come in and hand in your log 
and we can take note of how much time you did so we can um, tally that into the uh, prize basket. Now, you do not have to complete this. You do not have to get all six hours in order to still be entered as long as you read at least a little bit. Like your, if you just read 15 minutes, which is the first completion, that's one entry. So even if you didn't read all six hours, that's okay. You can still bring in your stuff. If you didn't fill out this sheet, same thing, totally okay. Bring it in. You'll still have an entry into our prize raffle at the end, which we'll be doing tallying that week and we'll be able to get to you probably early the week after. So that's that. I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew that you have to hand this in or else we won't know that you finished and that we can enter you into the raffle. So please try to get this to us. Um, if you can't for some reason, can if you can take a picture and email it to us, that would work too. It's just so we can keep track and that way you have a chance of winning one of our cool prize baskets. Now, also if you come in and hand this in, you need to let us know and we'll ask you uh, which baskets you prefer, like if you have, say, six entries that you want to use because you checked off six boxes and you really, really just wanted the science basket or you only wanted the science and the coloring basket, we can put all of your entries towards those specific baskets. If you want them to go towards all of them, that's fine too. Any option you'd like, we will do for you. So we'll ask you when you come in and you hand this in which baskets you prefer so that way we know. Okay, I think I covered everything, and as always, if you ever have any questions about programming, summer reading, anything like that, please give us a call, come in, email us, we're happy to help you and answer any questions. Okay, that being said, now let's get into our story time. I know we're waiting. Okay, that was long-winded, but we have some fun ones today. So let's start with our opening song. We're going to do Hands Go Up. Okay, ready? Hands go up, hands go down. I can spin round and round. I can jump onto shoes. I can listen and so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Good job, all right, we're sitting nice and tight. Let's start with our first book. So our first one we have is Goldilocks and the Three Bears, retold and illustrated by James Marshall. Once there was a little girl called Goldilocks. What a sweet child and someone new in town. That's what you think, said a neighbor. Hmm, uh-oh. One morning, Goldilocks' mother sent her to buy muffins in the next village. You must promise not to take the shortcut. Through the forest, she said. I've heard that bears live there. I promise, said Goldilocks. But to tell the truth, Goldilocks was one of those naughty little girls who was one of those naughty little girls who do exactly as they please. <gasps> Oh, and it shows her going into the forest. It says, danger, very risky. Not a good idea. Turn back. Go the other way. I don't know about you. Would you go in there? I don't think I would. I'd be scared. Meanwhile, in a clearing deep inside the forest, in a charming house all their own, a family of brown bears was sitting down to breakfast. cried big old Papa Bear. This porridge is scalding. I've burned my tongue. I'm dying, cried Baby Bear. Now really, said Mama Bear, who was of medium size? That's quite enough. I know, said Papa Bear. Why don't we go for a spin while the porridge is cooling? Excellent, said Mama Bear. So they got on their rusty old bicycle and off they went. A few minutes later, Goldilocks arrived at the bear's house. She walked right in without even bothering to knock. On the dining room table were three inviting bowls of porridge. 
I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, helping herself to the biggest bowl. But the porridge in the biggest bowl was much too hot. Patooey, cried Goldilocks, and she spat it out. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. But that porridge was much too cold. Then Goldilocks tasted the porridge in the little bowl, and it was just right. Neither too hot nor too cold. In fact, she liked it so much that she gobbled it all up. <sighs> Feeling full and satisfied, Goldilocks thought it would be great fun to have a look around. Right away, she noticed a lot of coarse brown fur everywhere. They must have kitties, she said. In the parlor, there were three chairs. I don't mind if I do, she said, climbing into the biggest one. But the biggest chair was much too hard. And she just couldn't get comfortable. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look very comfortable. Next, she sat in the medium-sized chair. But that chair was much too soft. And she thought she might never get out of it. Then Goldilocks sat in the little chair, and that was just right. Neither too hard nor too soft. In fact, she liked it so much that she rocked and rocked until the chair fell completely to pieces. Uh-oh. Now all that rocking left Goldilocks quite tuckered out. I could take a little snooze, she said. So we went to look for a comfy place to nap. Upstairs were three beds. I don't mind if I do, said Goldilocks, and she got into the biggest one. But the head of the biggest bed was much too high. Next she tried the medium-sized bed, but the head of that bed was much too low. Then Goldilocks tried the little bed, and it was just right. Soon she was all nice and cozy and sound asleep. She did not hear the bears come home. The three bears were mighty hungry, but when they went in for breakfast, they could scarcely believe their eyes. Somebody has been in my porridge, said Papa Bear. Somebody has been in my porridge, said Mama Bear. Somebody has been in my porridge, said Baby Bear, and eaten it all up. Uh-oh. In the parlor, the three bears were in for another little surprise. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear, and broken it to smithereens. The three bears went upstairs on tiptoe, not knowing what they would discover. At first, everything seemed fine. But then Papa Bear lay down on his big brass bed. Somebody has been lying in my bed, he cried, and he was not amused. Uh-oh. Egads, cried Mama Bear. Somebody has been lying in my bed. Look, cried Baby Bear. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and she's still there. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Now see here, roared Papa Bear. Goldilocks woke up with a start, and her eyes nearly popped out of her head. But before the bears could demand a proper explanation, Goldilocks was out of bed, out the window, and on her way home. Who was that little girl? asked Baby Bear. I have no idea, said Mama Bear, but I hope we never see her again. You see her? <laughs> and they never did. The end. It's a really silly story, huh? I like his retelling of it. Okay, let's sing some more songs before our next book. Ready? We're going to start with Horn Fangs, Knees, and Claws. Now I know you've been doing that a lot with Miss Megan. So let's get our let's get our hands ready for our Horn Fangs, Knees, and Claws. Ready? Horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws, 
knees and claws, horns and fangs and knees and claws, eyes, ears, tails and paws. Good job. Should we do that one more time? All right. Let's get our claws really out and really sharp and ready. Horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws, knees and claws, horns and fangs and knees and claws, eyes, ears, tails and paws. Good job. Okay, next we're going to sing Three Brown Bears. This is to the tune of Hot Cross Buns. Now, I have our little display here. We have our three brown bears. Can you count with me? One, two, three. Good job. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear have their three beds, their three chairs, and we have some porridge. Okay, so I'm going to sing through this song, and we're going to point to each item as we hear it. Three brown bears, three brown bears, see all their beds, see all their chairs, the mama cooked in the big black pot. The daddy's porridge was much too hot. The baby always cried a lot. Three brown bears. Three brown bears. Good job. Okay, good counting too. Alright, we're going to do the next one, which will set us into our next book because we'll be nice and seated. So, feel free to stand with this one and we can get our wiggles out. So we're going to do teddy bear, teddy bear. Okay, ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, bend down low. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Are you touching them? Teddy bear, teddy bear, go to bed. Teddy bear, teddy bear, rest your head. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good job. Okay, are we ready for another book? This one's a lot of fun. This one is called Papa Bear's Page Fright by Wade Bradford. the story of a little girl named Goldilocks. Hello, welcome to my story, she says. She loved to explore the great outdoors. Little did she know that in the middle of the forest there was a cozy little cabin, and inside the cozy little cabin lived three bears. Mama Bear, hello, she says. Baby Bear, hello, he says. And Papa Bear, Huh? Is the porridge ready, Mama? Not yet, Baby Bear. What shall we do while we wait? asked Baby Bear. And Papa Bear said, Who said that? That's not what he was supposed to say. Hmm. I think what Papa Bear meant to say was, let's all go for a walk through the woods. There are people looking at us. Papa Bear, I am trying to narrate. Why are there words floating in the air, he says. Can you see Papa Bear? I think he sees you looking at him. Now say your line, dear, says Mama Bear. Papa Bear, we are in a story. We are? Yes, and those people out there are our readers. Uh, okay. Let's go for a walk through the woods, then. Oops, how embarrassing. Did all those people hear me make a mistake? Oh, no. Just relax, Papa Bear. Maybe you should sit down. Wait, not there. Smash! Uh-oh. What are you all still doing here? You are ruining my story, says Goldilocks. 
Papa Bear has page fright. It happens to storybook characters once in a while. Now, Papa Bear, take a deep breath and say, let's all go for a walk through the woods. Uh, I mean, walk in the, whoops, oh, oh no, I can't do it. I've got to get out of this book. Watch out, you're ripping my pages, she says. Oh my goodness. Do you see him? He's gone, says Baby Bear. Why didn't you stop him, narrator? Sorry, everything went crazy. I didn't know what to do. Why don't you two peek outside the pages and see if you can find him? I'll stay here and mind the porridge. Do we see Papa Bear? <gasps> there he is. Follow him. Come back, Papa Bear. Sorry to interrupt your dragon story, but have you seen a large bear? He went that way, he says. I think he's headed for the fables. It says, the hare stopped for a rest in the shade tree, but the tortoise slow and steady continued toward the finish line. <gasps> Do we know what story that is? That's right, he's in the tortoise and the hare. <gasps> Excuse me. Hey, I'm supposed to win this race, says the turtle. Oh my goodness. This is so silly. <gasps> Has anyone seen? Right there, says the witch. How did you find me, says Papa Bear. Papa Bear, I know it's hard to have page fright, but we need you to come back into the right book so we can finish our story. Our story, says Goldilocks. Can't you just please finish the story without me? I really, really don't want to go back. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Oh, there he goes. Right back in. Hello, dear. Welcome back. I've got some porridge ready for you. All you have to do now is say your line. But those people are still staring at me. That's because they like to watch you. They do? Yes, and they like to listen to you. They do? Yes, and they like it when you help us tell our story. You mean my story, says Goldilocks. <gasps> then I will give the people what they want. What do you think? Do you like watching Papa Bear? I like watching Papa Bear and listening to his story. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but the story is almost over, Papa Bear. Not now, narrator. The story is about to begin. Ahem. Let's all go on a walk through the woods. Right after we eat our porridge. The end. And Goldilocks says, hey! Good job. I really like that one. It's really silly, huh? I like Papa Bear. Leaving the story, because it can be a little nerve-wracking, because we're all watching him, right? I'm glad he came back, though, to finish. All right, before we start our next book, we have one more song. And we're going to sing Our Bear is Sleeping. This is going to be a nice and calm one to get us ready for our last book. We're going to get our hands ready. We're going to use them to be our sleeping bear. Okay, ready? And this is to the tune of Frere Jaca. Bear is sleeping, bear is sleeping. Wake him up, wake him up. Come and say hello, bear. Come and say hello, bear. Time to eat. Time to eat. Good job. Should we do that one one more time? Let's do that one one more time. Bear is sleeping. Bear is sleeping. Wake him up. Wake him up. Come and say hello, bear. Come and say hello, bear. Time to eat. Time to eat. Good job. All right. You sound like you're ready for our last book. Today, our last book is called Goatee Locks and the Three Bears. This is by Erica S. Pearl. This is going to be a silly one. 
Once upon a time, there was a kid named Goldilocks. She lived down the road from a family of bears. When the bears went out for a walk one morning, well, you can probably guess what Goldilocks did. Inside the bear's house, Goldilocks found three bowls of porridge. She tasted the big bowl, but it was too hot. She tasted the medium bowl, but it was too cold. Then she tasted the little bowl. Mmm, it was just right. So, she ate it. The little spoon, too. Burp. Oh my goodness, she ate the spoon, too. <gasps> Next, Goldilocks found three chairs. She tried the big chair, but it was too hard. She tried the medium chair, but it was too soft. Then, she tried the little chair. Ooh, it was just right. So, what do you think happens next? So, she ate it. Cushions and all. She ate the chair. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at the fish. They're like... Oh my gosh. At this point, Goldilocks began to feel sleepy. Upstairs, she found three beds. She tested the big bed, but it was too lumpy. Yeah, that doesn't look very comfortable. She tested the medium bed, but it was too squishy. Then, she tested the little bed. Ah, it was just right. So... What is she going to do? She ate it! Plus the blanket, two pillows, and a pair of pajamas. Then, with a contented sigh, Goldilocks fell fast asleep. Shortly thereafter, the bears came home. You can probably imagine the commotion. Uh-oh, I don't think they're going to be too happy. Someone has been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone has been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Hey, where's my porridge, asked Baby Bear. Uh-oh. Get a load of this, called Papa Bear from the dining room. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Gracious, said Mama Bear. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Hey, where's my chair? asked Baby Bear. Uh-oh. We know where his chair is. They found the culprit upstairs. My bed, wailed Baby Bear. It's gone! Goldilocks opened her eyes. Above her stood three bears. Uh-oh. What do we think going to happen? Oh, quickly, she jumped up and hooked it for home which probably sounds like the end of the story. But, what could she do next? The next day, Goldilocks woke up feeling a little, well, sheepish. She wanted to make things right with her neighbors. But how? Outside, she found her answer. What do we see outside? How could the bears resist? Her gift was so pretty, so thoughtful. It was just right. So, so, they ate it. And baby bear burps. The end. Oh, I really like that one. That one's really silly, huh? Okay. We've come to the end of our story time for today. I want to thank you so much for watching with me. And like I said, we still have lots of programs going on for the next couple weeks for summer reading. So stay tuned for those. Always check this page or YouTube page and give us a call or an email or come on in and visit us if you have any questions or want to get any craft kits to go with any of the programs. Even past craft kits, we still have some left from other programs. So just give us a call or come on in and up to the desk and ask us and we are happy to help you. All right, are you ready to sing our goodbye song? 
Okay, ready? See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.